Who do you think you are? This was the question that I kept asking myself over and over and over again early on in my career when I decided to share my knowledge. Hello everyone, I am Shara Gorbani. I'm the founder and director of Project Control Academy. Today I would like to discuss about the importance of sharing your knowledge no matter how much experience you have or how young or seasoned professional you are. Before starting this session, I would like to ask you some questions. Have you ever had some self-defeating thoughts such as, who do you think you are? Come on, you are too young, you don't have enough experience for this. Or, I'm not ready for that yet, I need more experience. Or, what would happen or what people would think of me if I do that? Have you ever had those thoughts? It's completely natural to have any of those thoughts, especially when you are starting something new, something challenging out of your comfort zone. Those questions came to my mind when I decided to share my knowledge. But I didn't let those self-defeating thoughts to stop me from moving forward, from moving in the direction of my dreams, in the direction of the vision that I envisioned for my career. So what I did, I approached a kind of an education provider. At that time, they were just uh, doing some engineering uh, training, um, highly emphasized on technical engineering. So I approached the director and said, I have these thoughts, I have this idea. I would like to teach a subject on project controls and uh, he was so much open to that idea and he really uh, kind of that idea was well perceived by him and he said you know what sure I give you six months to develop a course in project controls and meanwhile I will market the course and try to find the audience and you just need to be uh, you don't need to be worried about any of those just go ahead develop a course in six months and come back so, Perfect. That gives me a good ground to test this, whether or not I'm capable of sharing my knowledge. So I did that. I went and put a lot of energy and effort in developing a course. And after six months, the day came, that big day to teach to an audience, complete strangers from different industries, at different ages and experiences. So I had to teach. So now the same thoughts started coming in. What if, what if, followed by a negative statement. But I told myself back then, you know what, Shere, you wanted to test it. So go ahead, don't be afraid of it. Don't be so hard on yourself. Just see how it goes. Just you are testing whether or not this is for you. So it was a three day course. I teach and did my best in that training. And at the end of the three day, the audience was so happy with the course. They all gave me five star reviews and the feedback was amazing. Such that the director wanted to have another course on project controls and gave me another six months to develop a new course for them. So I was doing that alongside with my full-time corporate job. I was teaching at educational institutes and at the same time doing my full-time job because I wanted to test this. I wanted to challenge myself. And the more I did it, the more confidence I got by doing that. At the same time in my workplace, I uh, was teaching and sharing my knowledge with my co-workers and then my employer wanted me to have some uh, training sessions for project managers, project leads and uh, engineering discipline leads and all of the other uh, stakeholders who were providing information to us to project control disciplines. So I did that. And the amazing thing about that was I had engineers coming back and saying to me that now everything starts making sense for me. Now I understand why you guys always want that progress report from us. Or now I understand when you are saying my CPI is low, what you mean? Now everything starts making sense. So they started appreciating more on the value that the project control discipline was adding to the organization. They started becoming more receptive to our demands and they got our binds, you know, we could get their binds in doing the things that we wanted in that organization. 
So I urge you to do the same, to start sharing your experience and knowledge right inside your organization. Start it with a small team. It can be your coworkers or people whom you had direct influence on. And I don't care how much experience you have, whether you're just starting or you're a seasoned professional, just start by something small, but start something that matters. And believe me, when I'm talking about project controls here, as you know in our industry, most of us learn this through experience, not through a formal education. So there is always a demand for learning, something that there are not much out there in the market to teach you. So why not starting small from your own organization, adding value to your company by sharing your knowledge? And by saying that, I don't expect you to have 30 years or 40 years of experience to start sharing your knowledge and teach. No, how many of those old individuals and seasoned individuals you have seen that they have everything, they have the knowledge, they have the expertise in their head, but they cannot transfer it in an easy and understandable language? And how many young professionals you have seen who were completely opposite of that? So don't let those limiting beliefs stop you from sharing your knowledge and expertise. I didn't let those stop me. And look at it now. I have the blessing of teaching to tens of thousands of professionals worldwide and even several international organizations to build their project control technical knowledge and expertise. So if I could do that, so can you. But you have to start from somewhere. Start from your organization, from the teams that you're involved in. If you have budget issue in project controls, you can, one of the key reasons is lack of proper education in your organization, not having the culture. And that can be improved when you start educating your team on project control concepts. So they appreciate the effort that you do so that, you know, all the other great things that I already talked about. So please share your knowledge. Start from your organization. And if you want to reach to the world, if you want to have your message reach to the hands of people across the globe, I will be happy to help. Right now, I'm blessed to have the platform that we have over 134 countries um, uh, watching our videos and following us on a daily basis and encouraging us in moving forward every day in the direction of our vision. So if you are an individual who you think you have a message, and I'm talking mainly to project control professionals, so reach out to us. What you can do is go to projectcontrolacademy.com and we have a tab called Share Your Expertise. And we build that so that you can share your expertise with the world, not just your small company. Reach to the hand of different individuals who are thirsty for your knowledge and I will be happy to help you. So if you're interested, go ahead to projectcontrolacademy.com go to the tab, share your expertise, and submit your articles for review. We will review those and those that are good. We will promote that everywhere to our global audience and to the industry. So be part of this movement. I encourage you not just share your knowledge within your organization, but also share your message with the world. And if you want to be part of this movement to add value to the community, to add value to project control industry, we will be happy to help. So just go ahead and submit your articles. I also make sure that I put a link either on the description of this video or inside this video so that you know exactly what the direct link would be. So you can go ahead and submit your article. But again, you can go to projectcontrolacademy.com and go to the tab, share your expertise. And now going back to my earlier statement that I said at the beginning of this session that who do you think you are? Now, I don't have that thought anymore, but I have some people who don't like me and what I do, and they keep asking that question, who do you think you are? And my answer to those individuals would be, I'm a student. I'm a student who is passionate about learning, who is passionate about learning every day and share her knowledge on whatever she has learned throughout this path to other people. So that's my mission and that's what I'm trying to do, to share my expertise. No matter how much experience I have, whatever I have learned, I would like to share. So I urge you to do the same and share your knowledge.